Hi, welcome to this series of interview question in Verilog. In this series, we are going to discuss some of the important interview questions, and I'm sure you will be really getting a good exposure to Verilog concepts after attending these questions, and it will also help you to track the interviews. I'm Sushmita, currently working as a principal engineer at Marin Silicon. I have a total work experience of 16 years and 13 years in the design field. My area of expertise is into Archel design and design for testability. All right, so let's get started. Here is the question. Draw the synthesized logical schematic for the below Archel code. This code has a list of four input ports, that is A, B, C, clock, and has a list of two output ports, Q and R, of regular type. It has an always process with a positive based triggered clock. The outputs are here two blocking assignments. You can see here where Q equal to A and B and R equal to Q or C. Now let's see how to approach for such questions. As we already know from Verilog theory that blocking assignments block the execution of the window statement and also blocking assignments and immediate assignments. We will use this concept to solve this problem. Now let's see the solution. In the solution, let's first understand the behavior of the process. For every passage of the clock, this process is going to trigger and the output of the AND logic is registered to Q at the passage of the clock. That is, in the logical schematic, it will synthesize to an AND gate and a D flip flop. As shown over here, you can see there's AND gate and the output is registered with respect to clock to Q. After Q is updated, which is a blocking assignment, the next statement will be executed where the updated and needed value of this Q will be odd with C. Hence, in the schematic you can see here, the immediate value of the AND gate is odd with C. And finally, that is registered with respect to clock and that is assigned to R, for which we get another digital flow for R. I hope this solution is clear. Now let's see some of the common mistakes that normally we commit when it comes to this type of questions. In the logical schematic, we might connect the previous value of Q and R it with C in order to get the register output R as shown over here. The schematic will be appropriate if we have used non-blocking assignments instead of blocking assignment as shown over here. All right, hence we need to be careful. All right, thanks for watching this video and get ready for my next upcoming video on Stratified Event Q. All right, and thank you so much.